Oh, did I miss? I mean, it probably would have gotten fucked by, uh... Five on... I hit marker the triple! Oh, dude. Anyone out here? Oh shit, no way! Everything. Easy to play on stream, and my... No, you get to choose your class. Let me go, Chronic. Like, what the fuck? Nuke. I hit the air cross map. Ah, shit. I will scream at you right now, so I Go sentry. Go. 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 I mean, nine hundred or thousand. Go. 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 No. Let me go. There's a girl on the other team. She just in my ear. Well, that was me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's you, that's you. No, that was me. <laughs> Both hit marker and collapse. Oh yeah. Wet kiss is only for Mr. Dice. This is only for Mr. Dice. Nice. Oh, look at that third jock. Please tell me you don't know my rage. Then there's something wrong with you. I shot the cruise missile. Come on. They're sniping, they just try very, very hard when they snipe. Whoa, bro. Stop. 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 Stop.
What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. All of these clips were hit in one night on stream, and yes, they did buff the snipers last night. It's awesome, you can pop shot much easier. In fact, if you're using precision aim assist on controller, you almost don't even have to ADS all the way to be perfectly accurate at any range. However, I have noticed that on keyboard and mouse, it seems like you have to wait a little bit longer for it to be completely accurate. I don't know if that's something to do with aim assist or what. But before I ended the video, I wanted to go over some settings and my class setups. So on both the Tundra and the Pellington, I use the Tiger Team Barrel, the Tiger Team Spotlight, the 7 Round Mag, the Airborne Elastic Wrap, and the Marathon Pack. So the other options people go with are changing their optic around to like the Axial Arms 3X and the Hangman RF. I believe those are the most popular. Or they can change the Tundra to using a Hammer Forge Barrel for the faster fire rate instead. And lastly, using a Steady Aim Laser versus the Tiger Team Spotlight. But personally, I think it's really nice to see that red dot above their heads. That way, if somebody's hand glitching at a long distance or they're through grass on like cartel, you're able to see where they are and track. And the reason I don't use any opt is because I feel like the default scope is better for drag scoping and flicking to enemies versus the hangman and the axial arms, which seem to ADS faster, but it seems like they're more uh, honed towards centering your shots instead. And as a keyboard and mouse player coming from CSGO, where we do lots of flicking and stuff using like the op, I feel like it's just better to use the default default scope. However, if you are going to use anything different, if you center your shots instead of drag scoping some, then I would go with the Axial Arms 3X or the Hangman, which is my personal favorite if I'm just centering. And also the reason that I run the Marathon Pad is so that I can have that slightly faster sprint to fire speed, which allows you, you know, if you pop around a corner and a guy has a Mag 10 or, you know, a Street Sweep or something like that, you want to be able to start ADSing a little bit quicker. And now that you can pop shot, it's really beneficial because you'll probably get your shot off before they're able to kill you unless they're just you know ready and have a really good reaction time now lastly we're going to move on to the baron which i run the tiger team barrel to get less hit markers it still gets a few but it's much better than it was at the beginning of the game then instead of running a tiger team spotlight or a steady aim laser i run the front grip because i find that the recoil on the baron is quite annoying and if you're trying to get consecutive shots off you know in the spawn you have four people in front of you it's better to have less recoil so you can control that and have better accuracy than, uh, you know, having the red dot or being able to hit some more no scopes. I also run the seven round mag, the airborne elastic wrap, and the raider pad. The raider pad's nice because it gets you that sprint to fire time and you also get aim walking movement speed. I know it decreases your hip fire accuracy, but if it really bothers you, you can use the CQB pad and the only thing you lose is the aim walking movement speed. Now lastly, I wanted to share some settings specifically for your mouse with sensitivity and stuff like that. Uh, because keybinds are mainly personal preference, I have a few things I'll go over, but your mouse is the most important because that's what you aim with, that's what you shoot with unless you're weird, but for the most part, I think we all aim and shoot with our mouse. So when we're looking at sensitivity, that is mainly personal preference. Find whatever feels best to you and practice that one sensitivity, because if you change it a lot, all the time, uh, this is whether you're on controller or on keyboard and mouse, you're just gonna be very inconsistent and never get the perfect sense for you. So now most importantly, we're gonna go over to the advanced section. I wouldn't change anything in here. Leave vertical sensitivity multiplier at one because you'll be very inconsistent at anything else and leave everything else the same. Leave mouse acceleration at zero, mouse smoothing disabled, and mouse filtering at zero. If you change any of these advanced settings, it makes things very, very inconsistent. The only thing that you possibly could change is your monitor distance coefficient, but don't change it all the time because it changes like if you're looking left and right uh, if you change that it's going to change how far you have to move your mouse in order to get to a certain distance so the last thing i want to share with you has to do with keybinds it's honestly personal preference but one thing that i like to do is have two keys for crouch slash slide i like one on my keyboard and if you have an extra button on your mouse i like to add one of those buttons to crouch slash slide 
This is useful because if you're strafing or something like that, you don't want to have to, you know, stop strafing to be able to slide. Instead, while you're strafing, you can be able to hit the button on your mouse and slide side to side and stuff like that. It's easier to do on controller, especially if you're playing claw or scuff, but you know, it's, it's awkward to have to move your hands off of the WASD keys just to be able to slide. So I think that's a nice touch that you can add. Otherwise, there's nothing too important. Uh, I don't have any on keybinds other than a few buttons on my mouse for like changing weapons and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's just personal preference. And that's about all I have for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope some of the setting stuff helped you out. Uh, I know the mouse stuff is definitely important. Be sure not to change your sensitivity way too much because you'll be super inconsistent, whether you're on controller or on keyboard and mouse. Just stay consistent and practice what you've got. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll probably be uploading on Sunday. I am hoping that I can upload two to three times a week in the future. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good week.